Hello everyone, it's Trina here from thereisacardforthat.ca and today I'm going to be making a pretty simple interactive birthday card. My sister-in-law asked me to make a card for a little boy who's turning four and I figured I would record it at the same time. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this stencil that I had created using the Stitched Puppy Cloud Borders from Lawn Fawn. Like, surprise, right? Even when I'm not featuring Lawn Fawn, I've got Lawn Fawn. It's just, it's everywhere. Um, so I'm going to use tumbled glass, and you can see it's, it's drying out again. <laughs> All over the back of my panel here, just to get, just to get some soft blue color for the background. So that the clouds aren't as, aren't quite as harsh. And then what I am going to do is I'm going to use some Salty Ocean, yes, Salty Ocean Distress Ink, and I'm just going to start at the bottom and place my stencil down where I want the cloud to be, and then just work my way up, starting on the stencil and brushing the ink off of the edge for a soft, feathery kind of look. And I'm just gonna go all the way to the top. Um, I can't remember when I learned how to do this, but I went through this phase after I learned where everything was like this super soft stencil. Like I had a series of baby cards, and I mean, it's probably years ago, so if you go through my blog, like they're on there. Um, and there's so many of them. For my image, I'm going to stamp this little dog and mask him off. And this is from the MFT Up in the Air set. And then I'm going to stamp the large hot air balloon over top so it looks like he's peeking out of the basket. And both of the images are stamped with Memento Tuxedo Black ink on 110 pound Copic friendly cardstock. I had a question about my cardstock. I don't use anything special. I don't use the Copic brand or Nina or anything like that. I don't even know where I would get Nina. I'm in Canada. I mean, maybe they'd ship it, but I think that would probably be expensive, right? Um, so the brand that I'm using is just the store brand from Staples, which is my stationery store. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the paper I use for my card bases. Anytime I need to do Copic coloring, that's just my regular go-to paper. The puppy I'm going to color in with my E44, E43, and E42, and then I'm gonna use the E79 to make his nose a little bit darker. And I decided today, like I wasn't gonna give him the spot over the eye, but I'm like, oh, it's so cute when they have it. And I thought I'd give it a try. I'm not one for usually adding those little things in, but I think it worked out pretty well. And then it was, I was kind of hesitating. I'm like, oh, maybe he needs a spot over by his ear, but I'm like, nope, nope, gotta stop. <laughs> uh, next, I'm gonna color the basket, and that's going to be the same light colors that I used in that Cheer Up Bunny card for his, his bed. And that's the E34 and the E31, just with it darker being on the outside edges so that the basket looks rounded, because I like my son right in the front. I know some people have it up in the upper right or the upper left corners. I like mine right in the front. So my highlights are typically towards the middle of any of my images. And you can see that here with the balloon because the balloon is round, but like if you see a real hot air balloon with those lines over it, it's like a rope net maybe? I don't know, something to keep the balloon from floating away from the basket. <laughs> and so it causes, um, indentations in the balloon itself. Uh, so where those would go in, it would be a little bit darker. And that's what I'm trying to show here. It would be darker on the sides because that's where the balloon is moving away from you and darker near each of those rope lines, I guess, maybe. <laughs> I don't know what they're called um, because it's a little bit further away from the sun, like it's it's bubbled up, right? For the blue, I'm using B02 and B00. And lately this has been like my go-to for blues. It's bright, but not too bright. And it's it's soft, but not too soft. It's, it's just right. <laughs> um, for the red, I'm using 
R27 and R17, and I'm going to color those same way I did the blues with the darker towards the bottom and the top and then along those rope lines. And then I'm just going to go back and forth over it a little bit to get a good blend. Like I want some highlight, but I don't want like this ridiculous highlight because this balloon is not shiny. <laughs> it's more of a matte, a matte balloon. And so I'm just going to finish this last one off here. So not a lot of Copic coloring in this one. I wanted to keep the interactive part of it as the, the star of the show. And then I do decide that I'm going to fussy cut this out, uh, but I did that off camera. Although I did just get a comment on another one about somebody who would like to see more of my fussy cutting. Um, so I can add that in if you guys want. I don't have to cut that out. I just figured you probably don't want to see me cutting stuff out when I do. So totally up to you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, I used the You're Growing Up, Up, Up greeting from the same MFT set. Um, just because he's little and maybe he's learning how to read. They're pretty easy words. And it, it works with the balloon, right? That's why they have it in the set. So I used the smallest of the straight slide on over dies, which was released a while ago. It was their first set of slide on over dies. And I have to keep that little piece that was die cut out because I'm actually going to inlay it so that when you can see the track for the slider, it's not just the blue background that I'm adding now. So I'm going to add a little bit of adhesive right to the back with my same dollar store tape runner. And then I'm going to inlay that right down um, onto the background of the cardstock so that when I lay the clouded panel above it, you'll still be able to see it. And then here I decided I needed to add a little bit of blue behind the dog so that it wasn't just this white thing behind him. And that's not something that's necessary. It's just me being a little bit crazy about how I color. <laughs> Because, I mean, the clouds aren't going to match up when he starts sliding around, but it kind of gives the illusion that uh, there's still clouds behind him. So I just used the B00 again, and then I blended that out with my colorless blender. For my slider pieces, I like to use pennies. Um, I don't know if you know this, but pennies have been discontinued here in Canada, so I have a whole jar of them specifically for this purpose. And I use the glass and bead adhesive, the slick surface adhesive for that, just so that I know for sure it's not going anywhere. And then I line up my paper face down over top of that, and then I add two layers of foam tape to make my slider piece. And then I stick the penny on top. I'm just using some powder tool around it just to get the edges so that they're not sticky anymore, because you don't want your hot air balloon to get stuck, right? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be terrible. Here's your card. It doesn't actually work. Um, and so there he is. He just slides up and down. And then I'm going to, I'm going to cover the back with this. Um, I have tried numerous times to get away with only one layer of foam tape. And after throwing out many pieces because like once this foam tape stuck on both sides, like it's, it's not going anywhere. Like you'll just tear the paper. Um, after throwing out many panels, I just, just go with two. Trust me on this. Just go with two. I don't like a lot of bulk to my cards. I like flatter cards. I think they're just super nice. Um, but this definitely, definitely needs two layers so that that penny or whatever mechanism that you're using can slide easily. So I'm just going to remove all of the backing off of those and then I am going to add a second layer of foam tape again. Like I tried. <laughs> I've tried so many times even after watching videos where people are like go with two layers don't make the same mistake as me and of course I have to learn the hard way right. So I used one layer and I was disappointed. And then the next time I used another one layer and I was disappointed. And it, it took a while. It took a while for me to just be like, nope, Trina, just, just go with two. Everybody says go with two. You've seen this for yourself. That's how science works. <laughs> just go with two. So I went with two. 
Maybe there is a thicker foam tape, like one and a half times what regular foam tape is, um, but I haven't found it. So I'm just removing the backing off of the second layer of foam tape. And you just need enough that the card's not gonna get squashed if it does go through the mail. And then I'm going to line that up so that that die cut inlaid piece is still visible through there. And then there he goes, he just slides up and down. It's just the cutest little thing ever. And it's super, super simple card. So I am going to add stuff onto the inside. Now the top, of course, having two pennies and a bunch of foam tape and another layer is going to be a bit top heavy. So I just used an older piece of washi tape to tape down the bottom. And then I'm just going to stamp the happy birthday with the Memento Tuxedo Black ink again. And then I'm going to stamp one of the smaller balloons using Close to My Heart's Sky Blue ink. And then just over top, just to make it look super cute. And then I was thinking, oh, what does this need? Because I'm not adding glitter, because it's for a little boy. Although, <laughs> just wait for it. There will be some glitter. Only a little bit though, little tiny bit of glitter. <laughs> I can't help myself, it's so bad. It's like, it's like, painful to not put embellishments on my cards. I don't even know why. So I decided to do some second generation stamping with the clouds from the same set using Close to My Heart's Whisper ink. And it's a really soft gray. Uh, it doesn't pick up all really well here, but in the picture later on, you'll be able to see it. And then that's, that's it for the inside. And then here it is, here's the glitter. <laughs> I just couldn't help it. But it's his nose, right? His nose has to be shiny. So then I'm like, oh, yep, it's happening. <laughs> Glossy accents over the nose. <laughs> it's just, and yet yeah, still no problems with the, with the applicator tips. So, so far, so good. It's been, it's been a few weeks now. And I mean, I open and close that thing a lot. Like you guys see it, right? So that is essentially our card for, no, it's not. <laughs> I just can't stop, right? So I'm using my black glaze pen just to add a little bit more definition to his eyes. And that really is our card for today. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe and comment. And I love them all so much. I do try to answer. I will have links to my blog post and my Facebook page down below. Have a great day. Bye.